Hello, welcome all to Holistic HR Hub. In this series of learning episodes, we are looking at data analytics. This is data analytics short learning session number two. In session number one, we saw what is data analytics, what are the different statistical tools used, what are the next generation tools or best of breed tools. Now we are going to get into the session number two. What are the business applications? Let us take a look of HR analytics. The analytics can be used in the following scenarios. The first one is retention. One can look at whether the retention for a particular organization or a particular function or for a particular uh, location or for a particular vertical or for a particular business is high or low. What is causing it? I'm just discussing the common business applications with respect to HR analytics or people analytics. The second one is performance. How we can apply HR analytics into performance, especially in sales organizations. That is the sales department, sales function. Organizations don't use data analytics to a larger extent. Here we can use the data analytics, which are the customers bringing in more revenue, which are the customers giving us small revenue, whether there is a lost business, whether a top 10 customers contribute to dash percentage of revenues from which zones we are getting revenues. So we can ascertain numerous variables and look at the correlation. The third one is leadership. The most important thing for any organization to be successful is leadership. Many organizations fail because of bad leadership only. Therefore, with respect to leadership, the particular leaders in the organization, what are the attributes they have? We can do a HR analytics because of those attributes or traits or qualities. The business is flourishing or the business is diminishing, whether people are uh, being retained or whether people are leaving. So the various traits required for a global leader or a good leader can be applied in HR analytics. The fourth one is culture. Culture is the most important part in any organization. Many mergers and acquisitions fail because of culture only. Therefore, with respect to culture, we can take a look. What are the productivity enhancers? What are the productivity detractors, which I have represented in the form of PD? What are the organizational network analytics? Who's communicating to whom? On what frequency? Whether they are getting a reply? What is the influence percentage? Time data. These can have a major impact in your organizational productivity. Then there is something called narrative analytics. What is narrative analytics? It is storytelling, drawing insights from the data we have and narrating it and visualizing it to the audience and inspiring the audience to take action. That is narrative analytics. And also with the help of analytics, we can record our voice and narrate the story. The next one is ethical considerations. What are the ethical considerations with respect to analytics? Since many of the data collected, especially with respect to people, are highly sensitive and confidential, the organization should have a privacy policy. Let us look at the ethical consideration. The first one is data privacy. Whether the data collected is being kept confidential. Whether there is security. Whatever the data we have collected is kept within us or is, pub or is open to the public internet fairness so especially with respect to compensation and benefits we'll have to see the fairness of the data we have which part of the organization is getting undue increments undue promotions these things we can analyze with the help of hr analytics the fourth one is what is the purpose of collecting the data why we are collecting the data and how we are going to use that data the first question we should ask ourselves is as HR folks, why we are collecting the data, 
the why part and how we are going to use that data these three two things are absolutely crucial and the last point with respect to ethical considerations is gdpr norms gdpr is general data protection regulation it is a european union european economic area regulation which is applied to the european countries or any country which wants to do business with the european zone european union must comply with the gdpr norms otherwise there is a hefty penalty now moving on so there is a question often arises to develop a career in hr and data analytics what is required let us briefly look into it one should look for a company that takes people analytics seriously they should not do lip service if we are doing some incredible project and that is not getting attention in hr analytics and people are not bothered about it the management team or the leadership team then that is not the right place for the analytics person or the people analytics person one should look for an organization where data is embraced decisions are taken through data as i emphasized in my previous video and not seats of pants culture what is seats of pants culture that is taking decisions on own that should not happen that is seats of pants culture one should build a network of people analytics community to have a wonderful career in people analytics so that you can share your experiences share your projects share your challenges and you can jointly learn and grow one has to attend conferences with respect to hr analytics to know the latest developments in the analytics domain and one also has to do projects to get a hands on experience so whatever we are talking is only the theoretical part but to get an hands on experience one must frequently apply the statistical formulas or use a, a social statistical package or any other package uh, one must be conversant with the microsoft excel and finally one must continuously upskill as analytics is a emerging field and in the next decade or the current decade that is 2021 to 2030 there is going to be a increase of 25 percentage in the demand for data scientist or data engineers or people analytics professionals so with this i am concluding the learning bite number 2 on hr analytics catch you in my next learning session i am concluding thank you for watching